there welcome back so now you know how to create gray blur sepia invert opacity and saturate effect using css image filters so now in this model we are going to learn about how to create a contrast effect it simply means the difference between the lighter and darker part of an image okay so for that let's get back to our code editor create a page called contrast HTML okay go to saturate copy it paste it here and let's change class name and that is contrast okay and let's back to our style page and here add a comment that is contrast page okay and here let's add okay and here let's add a filter that is contrast okay so now if you want to go lighter than use more than one decimal point and if you want to go to a darker part then use less than one okay so let's uh, first go to darker okay so let's use 0.5 okay it's 50 percent okay darker and let's add for one web kit and one for mouse okay and now go to contrast.html click here for live preview and wait for a moment and now you can see okay so this is <laughs> contrast and let's make it a little bit darker so you can just uh, go here and put it to 0.1 now you can see this is darker okay so let's now switch to be brighter part okay for that go beyond one it's 1.5 percent lighter okay and now you can see this is 1.5 percent lighter it's contrast okay so this is really awesome <laughs> so let's add for an hover effect so it is going to be normal so for ho on hover okay make it one normal okay so now if you visit here you can see it's going to be normal this is so awesome okay so now you know that if you want to go darker part then less than one and if brighter part or lighter part go beyond one okay so let's add our same process okay so for linking here just uh, get back to here and i'm going to just use my print screen on my keyboard shortcuts and click here copy it crop it resize it to be 60 here paste it as contrast and get back to our editor and go to contrast and just save our time and copy it paste it here and here is contrast sorry it's contrast and here also is contrast here also okay and now copy it go to saturate paste it here save it paste it save it save it save it paste and save it and one last in grayscale okay so paste it and save it and you done now okay so now you can see here is contrast added and if you click here now this is contrast space okay so thank you so much and see you in the next module